ballistics comparison here. I have the 243 Winchester versus the 6.5 Creedmoor. I appreciate you tuning in and then I hope you enjoy these ballistic comparisons that I do. They're for mostly for hand loaders, reloaders. If you do those things, you understand the data that's presented here. Most of the hand loading is typically the max recipes. I think I have the most accurate from Nosler and then the max as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, everybody's gun will vary and you need to figure out what works best for your gun and you as far as accuracy and power. Let's go ahead and get started here. Recoil up here at the top. We have the 243 75 grain at 3400 feet per second, 7.2 pounds of recoil at a 7.4 feet per second velocity back into your shoulder. 95 grain at 3100 is 11 pounds and then the 100 grain at 2960 See, uh, 140 feet per second. He always does a heavier one with a slightly lighter load, 8.8 .8 pounds there. Uh, again, uh, there's no data for the 6.5 Creedmoor on the Chuck Hawks recoil table. I kind of wish he, and I really wish he'd do it because we do a lot of comparisons. A lot of people are asking about the Creedmoor lately. It'd be nice to have that data, but it is fairly similar to the 260 as far as the amount of powder and the bullet weight. So I, I took that data. It's probably not far off from these here. 120 grain, 2860 feet per second, 13 pounds. 140 grain, 2360 feet per second, 9.5 pounds. And then the 129 grain at 2900 feet per second is 12.5 pounds. Again, these are how fast it's traveling back at you. So pretty light recoil. If you look at uh, some of the bigger guns, the 300 Winchester is about 27 foot-pounds of energy back at you. So these are both very light. Uh, there's a reason why both of these are used for target. Both of them are exceptional when it comes to long-range competition, shooting, stuff like that. Let's get down here to factory ammo. The 243 from the factory, they have the 90 grain ELDX bullet now available. At 500 yards, it has 855 foot-pounds of energy, and it's going 269 feet per second, 43-inch drop. Uh, the SST here is uh, 95 grain, slightly bigger than the 90 grain ELEX, 802 foot-pounds of energy, 1950 feet per second. GMX full bore, 80 grain, 614 foot-pounds of energy. Uh, GMX 80 grain superformance, 657 foot-pounds of energy. And then we go down to the Federal Ammunition Nosler Partition 100 grain here, 701 foot-pounds of energy. And th these are all at 500 yards. Nosler Ballistic Tip, 55 grain, 541, 32 inch drop. So this one's the flattest one so far, but it is only a 55 grain bullet. Down to the 70 grain Nosler Ballistics Tip, 611. And then the 95 grain Nosler Ballistics Tip is 756. Move down to the Creedmoor, energy goes up quite a bit. Um, the bullet weights go up quite a bit. A similar size case, slightly smaller case, I believe, but bigger bullets, which means higher ballistic coefficient, a little bit better performing bullets. Here you have the 143 grain ELDX, 1309 feet per second, or foot pounds of energy, 2037 feet per second, 43 inch drop. So the drop isn't much different than they are up here. I mean, the ELDXs drop almost the exact same, both 43 inches there. Uh, but this one has 500, 400 foot-pounds of energy more at 500 yards. The 147 grain ELD match, it's not designed for hunting. This is basically the AMAX, which a lot of people did use for hunting, but it's inconsistent, which is why they do not recommend using it for hunting. That's why they have the ELDX. But at 500 yards, you're 1,428 foot-pounds of energy and uh, 43 inch drop with that one as well. Uh, down here you have the 140 grain boat tail hull point American gunner. It's mostly a self-defense round, but I mean you can use it for target varmint, small game hunting. 1209 feet foot pounds of energy at 500 yards. 129 grain SSTs 1214. 120 grain GMX is 1150. You go down to the interlock American white tail here. 129 grains 1015, and then uh, Nosler grade long range trophy grade long range. Is 1243 foot pounds of energy and then the Nostra Ballistic Tip 140 grain, 1065 foot pounds of energy. So the energy here, 243, averages 692 and the 6.5 Creedmoor averages 1204 foot pounds of energy. So almost twice as much energy average at 500 yards. The energy is not as important if you're just using these for competition shooting, which is the, I believe, the main purpose between both of the 
designs of these calibers. The 243 is a great deer rifle and has been for a long time. The 6.5 Creedmoor was designed for competition shooting, but it's turning into a great hunting round as well. A lot of people are using it for some, some good hunting there. And you can see it has just about twice as much energy from the factory there. Uh, it gets a little closer when you do some hand loads. Uh, we'll show you there. Uh, with the hand loads here, you have the 143 grain, 6.5 Creedmoor, 1331 foot-pounds of energy, not much more than the factory. Uh, if you are only going to hand load for this, I probably wouldn't because the factory is pretty close. Uh, the match, 1434 foot-pounds, again, about the same as the factory. Down for the 243, though, this is where you start getting a lot more energy. 103 grain ELDX, it's a 512 BC. You're 1120 foot-pounds of energy at 500 yards. And so that is more than a I mean, it's 300, almost 300 more than that one. So hand loading for the 243 is where it really shines. This is where you can really start competing there. And then the 107 grain hollow point boat tail match king by Sierra, 1154 foot pounds of energy. And that's probably the max load over at IMR. So you can go check out the load data load center there. 47 grains of Winchester Supreme 780. That'll get you 1154 foot pounds of energy out of a 24 inch barrel, at least on their testing applications. And then a note here from Sierra, while they recognize around the world, they're recognized around the world for record setting accuracy, match king and tipped match king bullets are not recommended for most hunting applications. So yeah, amazing energy there, but it's, it's designed for efficiency and accuracy, but not for terminal performance on an animal. So it's not consistent and in some cases would be unethical to use for hunting. Let's go down to the Nosser load data, 6.5 Creedmoor first, 100 grain partition, 771 foot-pounds of energy, uh, the 125 grain partitions, 1,060. Uh, and again, this is the most accurate on these top ones. The next ones are max, max load that Nosser tested. 1,148 foot-pounds for the max for that guy. Moving down to the Acubon, the Acubon is basically the new version of the partition. Nosler designed it to have similar terminal performance, so when it hits the animal, it, it stays together. Great penetration, but it is much more efficient. The design is better, more modern, using modern technology to produce that bullet, so you get a little bit better energy. Uh, here you have 130 grain at, that, at a 500 yards. It's 1,094 foot-pounds of energy. And then for the most accurate, for the max they tested is 1,230 foot-pounds of energy. Go down to the 129 grain long range. This one's their most efficient design, the long, Acubon long range. 1,214 foot-pounds of energy and 1,359 foot-pounds of energy. And again, as you'll see if you go look up the load data for Nosser, they group their bullets together. 130 grain and 129 grains are grouped together using the same recipes. And here you can see the difference in the energy here produced by these bullets. Exceptional difference between the technology. Down to the partition 140 grain, 910 there, 1107 there. This is a very light conservative load. 100 FPS less, 1107, which still isn't quite as high as the 125 grain. Uh, you start to lose some powder space in there. You can see it's two grains less. Well, that's a different powder, so it's hard to compare there, but it's when you start getting the longer bullets in the Creedmoor, you're going to lose case space for powder. Go down to the Acumon 140 grain, 1140 foot pounds. Again, same recipes as the 140 grain partition. 142 grain long range, Acumon long range. This is again another very well designed bullet. Uh, long range hunting is what this is designed for. 1,193 foot pounds of energy on the most accurate. Again, this is a pretty conservative load according to their load data. And then 1,440 foot pounds of energy at 500 yards on their max. So that's a, a good amount of energy there. Let's go down to the 243. We start out with the little 55 grain ballistics tip, 620 foot pounds of energy at 500 yards, 624 foot pounds of energy on the max there. Move down to the 70 grain ballistics tip, 657 or 656 and then 708 for the most accurate and the max loads. 180 grain or excuse me, 80 grain ballistic tip here, 703 and 743. 100 grain partition, 814 on the most conservative or the most accurate and 899 on the max. And then you go to Nosler custom competition here, the 1,025 foot pounds of energy at 500 yards and 1,146 foot pounds of energy at 500 yards. And then you go down to the 
reduced drag factor. This is by Nossler. They actually call the bullet reduced drag factor. 105 grain, and that's 1,065 and 1,189 foot-pounds there. So, so you can see here the Creedmoor is 1,025 for the most accurate on your averages here. And then the max is 1,177. You go down to the most accurate from the 243 and you're at 813 foot-pounds of energy on the most accurate and 884 foot-pounds of energy on the max load. So you're, yeah, you're about 300 foot-pounds of energy difference there. And then you go compare that to the factories, where you can get from the factory, and you can see there's a big difference there. If I can find it. There's a big difference between the factory and hand loads. You can see here 692 versus 1204, and then 1177 versus 884. Uh, but there are some smaller ones in there. Obviously, you can pick and choose the bullets you want. You can go with one of these guys, 1189 foot-pounds of energy, and then you can go with the max here, 1440 foot-pounds of energy. But this is this is a lot of energy for the little 243 at 500 yards. Anyway, there you go. There's your comparison, the 243 versus the 6.5 Creedmoor from a ballistics data viewpoint, uh, comparing the low data there, 243 is a, a great flat shooting round 308 based cartridge very reliable easy to get brass for the 6.5 creedmoor is very popular right now it's a newcomer it's only been out for a few years by hornady and uh, it's a, it's a great all-around cartridge as well finding a lot of a lot of popular fans in the hunting and the long distance competition rounds there for the 6.5 creedmoor there you go two competition cartridge is compared and uh, I'll let you take with from it what you want and and come to your own conclusion if you have any questions or any requests go ahead and post those in the comments below hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you know when I upload I'm gonna push these this year quite a bit more than I did last year and I hope you will stay tuned and if there's any requests let me know I'm happy to do it for you